We're using an NFC tag as a light switch for our ESP8266 device. The NFC tag is an NXP MyFair Ultralight NTAG203 with 137 bytes of space. The tag has been printed onto some transparent paper. The tag can be used in many places and if you want to, you can get them with adhesive backgrounds. Programming the tags can be accomplished with the NFC Tools application available on Android devices. When opening the application, you'll be prompted to approach your NFC tag with your Android device. Once your tag has been scanned, you will see some information about the tag. In this case, you can see the serial number, the tag type, and the data size. To write information to the tab, go to the Write tab and select Add a record. There are a number of default record types you can select. For our purposes, we're going to use a URL record. In here, I've hard-coded the IP address of the ESP device with the light toggle switch. Once we're happy with the data that we want to write to the tag, we're going to select the Write option. Approach your tag and the URL will be written to it. Now you've successfully programmed your tag. To use it, simply swipe any NFC capable device across the top of the tag and it will take you to the website that you programmed into it. The tag can be used in place of a traditional light switch, is portable, does not require any electrical wiring, and can control any electrical device such as lights or motors. You will of course require an NFC capable device such as an Android phone to scan the tag. Most Android devices have this feature built into them and no extra software is required to use the tag. You will need to set up a web server here you can see a video of some LEDs that have been turned off and on again with an NFC tag. 